Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the Animated Playbook. I am the Mighty Mike Coach, and this video we are going to show you the bootleg pass. Now, this is our first solely passing option here. Not option, solely passing play that we're putting in. All the other ones have pass options involved. And we want those. This one is designed solely for the pass, and on this bootleg, what a bootleg is, you fake one way and you roll the quarterback out the other way. So the quarterback will fake a handoff and roll out. So, let's break down the play. You have diamond formation, RZ up on the line, tied end on the left side. These are our seven guys we have to have on the line of scrimmage. We have a fullback behind the tackle, even with the quarterback. We got a halfback behind the tackle, even with the quarterback, and behind them, the tailback. So we're running a bootleg. Bootleg, you fake handoff one way, you roll around. Now it's easier to roll a right-handed quarterback right, so our bootleg will be a roll right. We are faking a tailback power. So the, even though the line will be blocking for this bootleg, the tailback will, will will carry out a fake, and he's going to make sure he's going to protect this side to make sure nobody comes from a quarterback's blind, blind side because he's going to fake because the quarterback is going to fake the handoff here and roll right. Fullback is going to be blocking. We are going to have a line trying to keep a pocket for our quarterback to give him just enough time. So chances are this fullback, this is going to be his his issue right here, is this linebacker. You can also leave him unblocked. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, so the pass patterns here. Z, corner out, you know it well. Inside, out. Tight end. Tight end is going to be dragging across the middle. Okay, he's going to be dragging across the middle. A lot of times he will be wide open. I don't know why, because he passes right in front of the vision of everybody in that, that's supposed to be playing uh, secondary, but tight ends have a tendency of being able to drag right across and be wide open. Now, the reason why we're the reason why we're doing this, um, the primary receiver, believe it or not, is this guy right here. Later on in the game, if we start getting comfortable with this pass, we can start, we can figure out going different places, especially if this cornerback cheats or anybody else cheats. We'll, we'll have wide open, wide open holes to, to, to throw the ball. But for right now, uh, but, but right off the bat, right off the bat, this halfback is going to be your primary receiver. If this halfback is covered, chances are somebody's open deep. And it's real easy to read this halfback. So the tight end does a drag, Z does his corner, halfback is going to come here and just sneak behind the line of scrimmage. Now, it's, sneak is, is not really the correct term, because he's going to be running. He needs, he needs to be running, because you want him full speed out here in the flats to, give him the, to, to throw him the ball. So he's running at full speed, and all these guys who got suckered in by, by the bootleg will be moving off to try to stop that run. They'll be moving over here to try to stop that run. And so it should be, there should be a wide open hole right here to pass it to, pass it to the halfback. So we're going to run through the play. From the snap, you can see our halfback is running. He's going to try to get out to the flats. We've got, we're going to try to keep a nice pocket here for our quarterback. Nobody gets by. Quarterback's going to come over. Fake handoff to the ta to the tailback. You got to do this because that's that's the only way you can get people to freeze up in here and make sure that everybody goes this way. You fake this handoff and then you come, and then you roll to the right side. By this time, when you see this, by this time, it should be very apparent that there should be an open space right here. If there's not an open space right here, if somebody is in this open space. Making it not open, obviously. If somebody is in this space, that means this Z route is wide open. So that's really what I want you to do. Fake handoff. Roll. If this space is a wide open space, throw. That's where you're throwing. You'll hit the halfback out here in flats and let him run. 
If it's not wide open, that means somebody has decided that they didn't want to cover the Z route. And chuck it deep. Fake handoff. Halfback going out into the flats. Easy dump to a wide open halfback because there's going to be nobody over in this area. And they go. I can't stress enough. If this halfback, and that's the reason why we're running this, because we got we got a halfback who's got some nice speed, incredible hands. The, this play is designed for this halfback, but if this cornerback is sitting right there, I'm going to tell you right now, this guy is wide open. He's going to be so wide open, he could sit down with a little picnic and wait for you to throw him the ball. Show it to you again. Fake handoff. Quarterback dumping it off to the halfback. And after the halfback, after the half, after the halfback catches the ball. After the halfback catches the ball, then these guys can actually block. We may find every now and then when we roll out that we might want to go to this tight end because these linebackers keep on coming up to try to stop a run, which is which is fine. We may want to do that. We may want to do that just to get these linebackers something to think about. Um, but he's not going to be the primary receiver. But he'll be all, he'll be out there. If you're running for your for your life as a former quarterback, I know well. On this play, if you wind up running for your life back here because this guy's somehow covered and this guy's somehow covered, if you buy yourself a little extra time, this tight you'll see the tight end across the middle, and you can dish it off to him. And that is how we like to run our diamond bootleg.